This is his first day at school, he's helpless and he's weak. Standing in the playground, he's too terrified to speak. He starts to cry, he wets himself and then he has a thought. This really shouldn't happen to a man who teaches sport. <laughs> don't like food. <laughs> I think food is boring. Food is dull. Food takes up valuable space, which I require for drink. <laughs> so consequently, there's nothing I hate more than someone saying to me, you must come round to our place for a meal. Oh, no! I hate social eating, because when you go around to eat with people, you spend the entire evening talking about food. As soon as you walk through the door, it starts. Gosh, that smells nice. <laughs> Rubbish! It smells like food cooking, that's all. <laughs> but you always say, that smells nice. Never ever say, God, blimey! <laughs> what are you boiling up? Some old soiled nappies or something. <laughs> and when you eat the food, you spend the entire evening saying how nice the food This is delicious. <laughs> this is super. You must give me the recipe for this. Young, if they gave me a dead dog, I'd say the same thing. <laughs> Fabulous. What was it? Afghan hound or cocker spaniel? <laughs> it's never a dead dog, though. It's always the same stuff. Always the same stuff. Kish. <laughs> Kish. <laughs> Even the word's bad enough. <laughs> Kish. Sounds like a snake being sick backwards. <laughs> Kish. Where did quiche come from? Where did quiche come from? There wasn't any quiche before 1975. <laughs> now you can't move with the stuff. <laughs> I think it came from the same planet as the duvet. <laughs> <laughs> we leave the eating area and go into the living room area and start saying how nice the living room is. What a nice room. It's so light and airy. Couldn't you get a roof? <laughs> It goes all the way from that wall, all the way over to that <laughs> And the terrible thing is, these people, they're good, kind, nice people, but, but, they don't smoke. <laughs> and I smoke all the time. <laughs> I would like a head with 15 mouths. <laughs> and a fag in each mouth, just gotta get that smoke into my body. But these people don't want my smoke in their house, and I always crack and say to them, um, uh, uh, mm, um, uh, do you mind if I smoke? <laughs> no, you go right ahead. <laughs> I'll just open the French windows. <laughs> Sometimes they have a handle, they pull it, the roof lifts off, the walls open, you're in the country. <laughs> and the terrible thing is that cigarette smoke always knows when there's a non-smoker in the room. <laughs> and go straight for him, you bastard. <laughs> Smoking away, smoking away, smoking away, feeling good because I'm smoking, feeling bad because I'm smoking. And suddenly realise, with dawning horror, there are no ashtrays <laughs> in this room. There are no ashtrays anywhere. And I've got an inch and a half of ash on the end of my back. If I move a muscle, their house is full of my ash. So I say the next dumb thing, I say to them, um, mm, uh, mm, uh. <laughs> do you have an ashtray? <laughs> now I'm speaking Martian. <laughs> ashtray. <laughs> ashtray. <laughs> ashtray. Oh, ashtray, yes, sir. Uh, I think there's one in the kitchen. Well, go and get it, are you? <laughs> and they come back about three hours later with a thing the size of a half crown, with a picture of Italy in it, but one cigarette in it, and it's full. Well, you're not going to smoke another one, are you? No, I'll just jump some heroin into my eyeball now. Thank you very much.